got a fiddly little job to do here. These are um, cartridge emulators for motorcycle forks um, to improve the action of um, simple damper rod forks into something uh, more approaching a modern shim stack cartridge. And uh, my friend Martin's been uh, testing uh, the new damper rods and, and assemblies that I made and uh, definitely the the rebound damping um, improvement is working very well but we haven't got the compression damping dialed in with the um, the oil weights that we want to use and uh, this little top hat um, is the compression valve plate and the little hole towards the edge um, is the low speed um, as in low suspension deflection velocity um, orifice and it's sprung loaded onto the top of the emulator unit and at higher um, deflection velocities the valve gets pushed open against the spring um, to give you a softer damping rate now he's found that the the single hole um, is too small um, so it needs a larger hole there isn't really room for a larger hole in that position so a second hole and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a second hole um, in this valve and then I've got another set of emulators and I'll probably make those three hole plates um, and then we've got some options to to try out so in order to hold this you've got um, a section on the back that can go into the the V of the block and by inserting a screw at the bottom I can pop it on to the top of the screw and then clamp against the side of the screw to actually hold it against the the V-block and the orientation of the hole is not critical so I'm just going to eyeball it 180 degrees out when I do the three hole I might uh, be a little bit more scientific about it and make myself a little guide to get the 120 degree angle get the protractor out so the next job will be to center up um, roughly speaking, measure off uh, the distance I want to go out for the hole and uh, spot it and drill it. Now 4.1 millimeter drills are a fairly good fit in the hole so I'm just going to centre it by um, using the, uh, the shank of the drill. So I've got my depth stop blocks out the way. Okay, that's centered up, so I'll lock the table. I'm going to visually line the um, spotting drill up with the uh, the orifice hole so we have some power to the mill and I'll zero out the DRO
that's 5.25 off centre. So I'll go the off centre in the opposite direction. Okay. As I say, this isn't um, hugely critical because the, um, the position of the hole, as long as it's not too close to the edge, so it would be interfering with the, the valve seating, which isn't very wide. It should be fine. Okay, I brought you around the, um, the other side because uh, the camera was in my way. But let's um, spot drill this and then put the, uh, the 1.6mm drill through. With the drill this small, there's uh, no real need to use the uh, the chuck key. Just want to get a bit of lubricant on that. Just got to um, deburr that and do the second one.